Hello, this is Mrs. Howard, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create your own card deck in Boom Learning. To start with, you're going to want to click on the word Studio. That will take you to the Design section. Once you're in the Studio, scroll down a bit and click Make Decks, and then click New Deck. Here we have the design area for creating Boom Cards. The first thing you want to notice is the Template Card section. Anything you create on a template card is going to appear on every single card in your Boom deck. I prefer starting with card number one and just continuing to design from there. PowerPoint or Google Slides work pretty well to create a lot of things for your Boom cards. For today's tutorial, I'm going to use Google Slides. When working with your slides, I recommend changing their dimensions to match that of Boom Learning. For my slides, I use 7 by 4 inches. Next, I select a background to use for each of the flashcards. I can design this using Google Slides. For our purposes today, I found a picture of some burlap, so I'm just going to add that as a background on my Google Slide. You can really use anything as a background, but for mine, I like to add a shape with a colored border to give it a little bit more of a layered look. When the background is ready, you want to download the image, so you can use File, Download as JPEG or PNG but I do recommend using the snipping tool. Now it's time to upload that background to Boom Learning. Just select background image and drag and drop or import your image that you just made in Google Slides and it'll show up in the background of Boom Learning. Remember to add it to slide one unless you want the background for every single slide, then add it to the template. To add text to your Boom card, click on the text box, then drag and drop it onto your Boom Learning card. You can click to edit the text, change the font, change the style of text, and even change the color using the editing tools at the top of the screen. Now we're going to explore adding an interactive button. To add a button to my Boom card, I'm going to click the word button and then drag it onto the page. You can click inside the button to change the text. To change the properties or the color of the item, you can click background and give it a different color background. You can also click the word border to change the thickness or the color of the border. You can grab the edges to drag and drop it into position or to stretch and alter the shape. The duplicate button is awesome for any item to make multiple copies and still maintain the style that you've created. Here I'm just going to edit it to make it number two and turn it blue. Then I'm going to duplicate it one more time, change the number to number three, and change the color to red. We're now ready to designate on this card which one is the correct answer. So I'm going to click on each button and then go to the answer options and choose pink as the correct one, the blue as the incorrect item, and the red as also being an incorrect item. To test your card, click preview. try adding some images. The first thing I'm going to do here is use this clone button to create a second card. That way I can use the same background and the same formatting. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete each of these buttons because I want to use images as buttons instead. To add an image, drag and drop the image icon to your screen. It will open an upload panel. Boom Learning can use both JPEG and PNG files. So you'll want to find a JPEG or a PNG. You can upload it or drag it and drop it, and it will then add that image. Use the blue squares on the image to size, shape, and position your image. I'm going to upload a second image here so that students have a choice and the images can serve as buttons on this particular Boom card. Just like with the buttons, you need to indicate on the card which is the correct and which is the wrong answer. Clicking preview will take you first to the card that you're working on and then other cards that you've created. And now we have multiple choice. I'm going to do the same thing by cloning the previous card that I've created so that I can maintain my formatting. And I'm going to delete the items that I don't want on this card. For this card, we're going to try this multiple choice option. So I'm going to drag it onto the screen. As you can see, it's got a green outline around the correct answer and red outlines around the wrong answer. And we're going to 
we're going to substitute the correct answer. Put the correct answer here. Here. And add two other incorrect answers. Once I'm ready to go, I can click Preview and test it out. Now let's take a look at the fill in the blank option. Once again, we're going to clone the previous card to maintain the formatting. Get rid of what we don't want. We're going to drag out the fill in the blank option. So for this fill in the blank, we're going to ask a question. And that question is just going to be, what color is box number one? And the expectation will be that the student will type it in. And I went ahead and added three boxes to the page, and I'm just making sure that they're not available answer options, so I have to remove whether or not they're correct or not correct. And now we're going to edit what the fill in the blank is looking for for a student to type in. In our case, it's pink, and I don't want to make it all caps. I'm just going to do lowercase, but you can make it case sensitive. When I'm ready to go, I just click submit and close the box. And now we're ready to test it out in preview. Previewing up the card shows us that we can type in the word pink and then click submit. And it shows up as the correct answer. So I hope that's enough to get you started using Boom Learning Cards. Thanks for watching.